Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to combine some chord properties in the Pythagorean Theorem to find some unknown lengths in a circle. Okay, this question asks us to find the missing measurement. So it tells us that O to C, so from the center to the outside, so this is a radius of the circle, that's 5 centimeters. And it tells us that from O to D is 4 centimeters. So I'll label that 4 right away. And then the other thing I'll label, um, it just gets messy if I put that 5 on, but if this one's 4 and the whole thing is 5, then this from D to C is 1. Okay, and what we're supposed to find, the missing measurement, is how long A to B is. So here we have a chord of, on a circle, a chord on a circle, and we've got this line that comes from the center out to the edge of the circle, and it's perpendicular to the chord. So we have a chord property that tells us if the line is perpendicular to the chord and goes through the center of the circle, then it bisects the chord. So these two things are equal size. So A to D is the same size as D to B. Um, the reason that's good is that if we know how long A to D is, we just double it, and we'll have our the question, answer to the question that we're supposed to that we're supposed to answer. Okay, so right now we don't really have a lot to go on. We don't exactly know how big this is, but the trick in these there's always basically one trick in these kinds of questions, and the trick is to draw in a radius. Um, so a line from the center of the circle out to the edge somewhere, and there's usually one place that's uh, really helpful. And often the place is from the center to the edge of a chord. So I'll draw that in. The reason it's often helpful to draw in a radius is because every radius is the same length. So here we know that O to C is 5. So that means that OA, which is another radius, is also 5. Okay, and now we've got a right triangle. We know two of the lengths of two of the sides, so we can just use Pythagorean theorem on that triangle, and we can find a to d. Once we do that, we'll double it to get a b. So, in triangle O A D, we have the hypotenuse squared, so O A squared equals a d squared plus O D squared. Now I'll substitute, so O A is 5. So 5 squared equals A D. I don't have a length for that, I'll call it X. X squared plus O D is 4. So it's 4 squared. And then hopefully you recognize the Pythagorean triple there. But if you don't, we'll just continue. We've got 25 equals X squared plus 16. And then if we subtract 16 from both sides, we've got 9 squared equals x, sorry, 9 equals x squared. Take the square roots, we have x equals 3. So from a to d is 3 centimeters. We know that a d is 3, and we also know that b d is also 3. So A, B equals, so it's 3 plus 3, 6 centimeters. And there we go. Um, that's it. So the key ideas here, we're remembering the chord theorem that says if we have a perpendicular line to a chord that goes through the center, then it bisects the chord. So these two halves are equal. And then the other key trick here was to draw in this radius. So you'll often on these questions need to draw in a radius, and then remember that it's the same length as another radius that you already know. Okay, good luck.